Hey everyone, I'm John Reed from Learn to Stargaze, author of several popular stargazing books, including 110 Things to See with a Telescope. Thanks to your support, liking, sharing, subscribing, and spreading the word about our channel, our community is growing. As you probably guessed from the title of this video, in order to share the wonders of the night sky more effectively, we purchased some land. And we're going to call this place Stargaze Nova Scotia. We believe that the wonders of the night sky should be accessible to everyone. We wanted to create a special place as close to the city as possible, but where it's dark enough that people can truly immerse themselves in the beauty of the night sky. Additionally, this location will serve as the backdrop for future videos and serve as the setting and inspiration for the creation of new stargazing guidebooks, including a sequel to 110 Things to See with a Telescope. Let's take a few minutes to update you on the progress we've made over the last few months. about a thousand feet off the road, just with an amazing view of the river here. So hopefully we'll watch this movie in a few years. And there'll be lots of decks and people up here. All right, so this might be the first cut that picks off Stargaze, Nova Scotia. Here's the trail we just cut. There's Mrs. Stargaze. Hi, John. Hi. So I've got my bush cutter here and Jenna's chainsaw blade which just came off so I have the tools in the car to fix that. We cut a path through here so that we can start figuring out where parking lot's going to be. All right here we've got our first night trip out to Stargaze Nova Scotia. We're about to uh, go into the woods right over here. Hey Tariq. Great. Let's hit this with a three minute exposure. All right, I need to head home soon, so I might try and hit some more targets. I'm gonna stop this in only six minutes because there's just so much here. You know, I know really we should do an hour on every target, but I just wanna see what else we can see out here. It's just so dark. So we think we found the edge of the property, but currently we can't find the survey marker. It's down here somewhere, probably about right here. So we're going to keep looking. We may need to come back with a metal detector. We've got the excavator here. Now we're gonna zigzag up these switchbacks up the hill and that gets us here to the stargazing plateau. This is really exciting progress. I am so excited to be this far in to stargaze Nova Scotia. So far so good, it's a great property. I love working on here, big view from up here. John's been a great fellow to work for. Well, I definitely will be bringing the kids here for sure. Let's go get some paddles, some life jackets, and let's go explore this lake. We're situated on beautiful Big Lake, Nova Scotia. If you look at a light pollution map, we're here, just into a blue zone but there's nothing to the south of us. So our views of the Milky Way from this location will be out of this world. This property has almost a thousand feet of shoreline. Someday, we'd love to line the shoreline here with stargazing cabins, with the front of the cabins facing the lake, maybe with your own dock and canoe, with the back of the cabins facing the southern sky, the perfect place to set up your telescope. Here's the entrance to the property. We built this lane a few weeks ago and we think it's a great opportunity to involve our subscribers. We'd love to hear your suggestions on naming this lane. Drop your ideas in the comments and we'll choose the best name together. Here we have our parking lot, which can accommodate 10 cars. 
One of the challenges of stargazing is the interference from car headlights. Fortunately, most of our stargazing activities will take place at the top of the hill, which should effectively block the light from cars. Here's the path to our stargazing site. This lane needs a name too, so leave a note in the comments and let us know what you think. All right, we're here in June for another nighttime session at Stargaze Nova Scotia. We just saw a beautiful sunset. Now we're gonna go to the top of the hill, set up some telescopes, set up some cameras, and just have a really great night under the stars. As we continue to develop this site, our future upgrades will include provisions for tour buses to either pull through or turn around. Considering our proximity to Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia, we have a considerable opportunity to attract tourists from all over the world. We also hope to include year-round lodging in the form of a stargazer's lounge and cabins along the lake. Other ideas for this site include a small planetarium so that we can teach people about the skies night or day and in any weather. We'd also love to include a space research facility to be used by universities and the local space community. In the past, this channel has primarily been funded by the sale of my stargazing books, as well as occasional sponsorships from All Star Telescope or Celestron. While this channel is monetized, YouTube's ad revenue doesn't provide significant support. That's why, for the first time, we're opening a Patreon page for Learn to Stargaze. By joining our Patreon, you'll not only help us create more content, but also support the development of Stargaze Nova Scotia. Entry-level tiers will gain you access to our Patreon community, while mid-tiers will provide advanced updates and behind-the-scene footage. In the near future, higher tiers will offer VIP access to Stargaze Nova Scotia events, featuring some of the most easily accessible dark skies on the east coast of North America. If you'd like to support Stargaze Nova Scotia directly, please reach out to me using the Contact Us page at learntostargaze.com. Who knows, we might even name an observatory after you.